Looking for something a little different in the Napa Valley getaway? Here are five fun wineries we like to visit when we travel to the Napa Valley. Tressa Boris Winery is well off the beaten path at the base of the Mayacamas Mountains in St. Helena. Julie Johnson is the owner and winemaker, and she produces fine Cabernet and Zinfandel from her certified organic vineyards. The winery is rustic with no formal tasting room, just a homey, welcoming atmosphere. Up the road is Corison Winery. Many call Kathy Corison the queen of Napa Valley Cabernet. She has been at it for many years, and her Cabernets reflect the old school cabs of the Napa Valley. These are restrained Cabernets loved by many. The beautiful barn style Corison Winery is set back from Highway 29 in St. Helena. At the Smith Madrone Winery, the two Smith brothers are a throwback to a different era of the Napa Valley. There is no fancy, state-of-the-art winemaking equipment or a lavish tasting room. All the tasting is done in the cellar room, and chances are Stu or Charlie will be doing the pouring as they did when they started the winery on Spring Mountain in 1971. Bueller Vineyards is across the valley from Smith Madrone and about four miles east of the Silverado Trail at the base of Howell Mountain. Bueller began in 1976, so along with the Smith Madrone Winery is one of the older wineries in the Napa Valley. John Bueller runs the show here, and his son Paige Bueller tends to the tasting room and visitors. Two Cabernets and a Zinfandel have brought much notoriety to this hidden gem. Casa Nuestra is on the Silverado Trail near Calistoga. The tasting room is a kick, mostly cluttered with memorabilia. Years ago, Elvis Presley shot a scene for one of his movies in the Casa Nuestra vineyards, so there is a good collection of Elvis items in the tasting room. You will like the funky atmosphere. You can use our handy trip planner to find these wineries on the map and print your directions and itinerary. Happy travels.